Pretty firmed up, kids. All right. Where is that? Wow. Talk about cutting it close. Yeah. Gonna show you something here, little kids. Okay. No kids. So how do you tighten that? Mm. I don't know. Screwdriver, okay? Now once it's glued and it holds it, it also is normally a little better, but this one is biting. Just tap it. Tap it in. Just tap it in. A little tappy. Alright, so. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, Elliot. Your left, my right. Okay, you go. Okay. <laughs> you Come should on. know that. Shovel. Shovel is right here. Big outfit. This needs to go. Uh, we're propping this up so it doesn't settle down and pull out. This is a piece of crap conduit that's mismanufactured, so it's actually not two inches in diameter. The bell is, but the rest of the pipe, when it got extruded, is super short. Yep. It literally doesn't even fit. It's just it's floppy in there. It's like, I don't know, 3 sixteenths of an inch small. It just, it doesn't even fit, dude. It's retarded. That's called death. That's called not. But we check. I always do this. Then I both, I always check both sides. I'm always way too weird. I want to make sure it's truly disconnecting. Proving to me that it's hot. And it's not. And it's off. You don't die. And look at that. There's enough field. I mean, I don't even have to get close. There's some juice up there. Anti-corrosion goo. Mm -hmm. Want to treat your aluminum cables, especially them. They oxidize really fast. And then the next trick to working with this stuff is you just got to be a gorilla. You got to be able to manhandle that stuff. I should not be using this style of Allen wrench, but I don't exactly have access to all my tools. I normally have a nice set of Allens for my ratchets, but they're buried in our trailer somewhere. Anyway, so these kind of lugs, especially these big boys, after, you know, a few weeks, a month of service, I come back and torque these again because they always seem to loosen. I see them always tend to loosen. So well, you want really good contact. You don't want to have some freaking loose, you know, 
connection there, arcing, sparking, or causing a bunch of resistance. That's way too much current to let that have happen. You take a seat, man. Take a seat. Anyway, I'm really sure there's probably some very appropriate torque spec for this. I am unaware of it. My torque spec for this is tight. tight, and then a little later, tighter. Just don't strip it. Oh, very good, grasshopper. Very good. Grasshopper. Yeah. You just need a couple more inches. We all need a couple more inches. <laughs> Come on, give me that. Give me that. Oh. Did I just say that? Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was oh, my worry. inside that voice that outside. I'm going to see if we can get power <laughs> to the motorhome before the rain starts. Go help, Elliot. Help, Dad. So go in the trash, okay? Let me have some more. Pull some to me. More, more. Good. What's the wire? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is direct burial 8 gauge. So, yeah, if you look here, we have a red, a white, a black, and a ground in here. Pulled back in. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be running 220 to our well. We have the ability at this distance, without too much voltage drop, we should be able to support 50, 55 amps, 55 amps with this. So if we need a bigger well in the future, bigger pump, this will do it. And then some. So.
Stand back. I'm standing back. Wonder if the third one explodes. Oh. Didn't die. Didn't kick. <laughs> Didn't trip. Alright. What's wrong with you? Plug in the motorhome? Yeah, yeah. And that's it. No, that was like rocket surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Turned her all on, nothing exploded. I think we got power. Does it work? Yeah, baby. All right. We have power. Oh, beautiful morning out on the farm. Most of the snow has melted off yesterday and uh, it's just pretty. It's nice this morning. I don't know, it's probably mid forties this morning and it's supposed to warm up to somewhere in the low 60s. But the little project I'm working on today is this. Our pressure tank and pressure switch set up. It's a little bit beat up. There's been a critter living in here. So we've gotta get it cleaned out, get the plumbing all reconnected. We'll have to shock the well um, and pump a bunch of bleach through the whole thing. And then after that, probably get it tested just to make sure that uh, we're not drinking pathogens, but this should be potable water once we're done. So yeah, that's the goal, but what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. And there's my three-legged dog enjoying the farm. Kaiser, come here, bud. We're gonna take and try and tie in from the well to the existing water line that comes up here and then extend this line further up to where we're going to have potential RV pads in the future and get the 200 amp panel down there that we have conduit ran from the power pole to the 200 amp panel that's set. We need to get wires landed in there and then we need to finish wiring up the well. So hopefully we'll be able to get that done today and hopefully we'll have water. Channel locks. We're gonna have to charge this pressure tank also. Okay. Holy moly, am I gonna have enough room to make this all happen? Give her the onion. And it broke. Perfect. So we got we got all kinds of ugliness going on here <laughs> for height, man. It's like whoop. We'll make it work though. Oh, it's so bad. I love price tags on everything. Wait a minute, now that one was 99 cents? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, I got gaffed on some, almost freebies on others. I guess. Unless they looked at just one of them and put the price tag on all of that. Damn right they did, they chose the most expensive one. This is the part where it always goes wrong. Agreed. Oh boy. Did it again. Give me Jackie, that. Me. This one you need right here? Mm -hmm. Here. Don't move it. Don't move it around. Dan's putting her carcass on the pressure tank and it's sliding the plumbing. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> it's going to definitely break. <laughs> So what we do is we're going to take and glue up this joint and this joint, okay? And that way we'll have the right angle, okay? So we just are going to fit that on. I'll show you. Yeah.
Hmm? Go glue that and then find the right angle before it, before it sets, right? Because these are like that. Oh no, this way. They're kind of off a little bit. So we're just gonna let that set up. Just like of that. So, you know how to do that now? No. Thank God we made a video, so Einstein over here gonna watch it again. The inside. I already did. Okay. Juicy. There you go. Perfect. How's that? And yeah. Give a couple good twists. Make sure it bottoms out good. Good. That's plenty. You're like, you're going crazy with the twisting. You're like, overachiever! <laughs> Well done. <laughs> oh, it got heavy. Hey, we got water. Well, that's going in the trench. Wow! We're gonna fill the trench in with water now. No, I'll get yelled at. Never mind. That's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. It's been there for a few days now. No. Yes, it has. For real? I put it in at the same time you got power. Right here? <laughs> yes. That was yesterday. No. No. Before yesterday. Before. But something more importantly. Oh my gosh! There's water in here. It's very brown. Well, that's because it's brand new well. Yes. Not. It's chocolate. It, we have a well that makes chocolate milk. Chocolate it's milk a special well. well. Yeah, chocolate milk well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, recap on the day. We did a lot of digging, got some stuff installed. Oh, we have water. 
muddy water, very muddy water. <laughs> and we're tired. We're very tired. First day of church tomorrow.